Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Today we are doing outfits based on your theme suggestions. I also on my Instagram, which is Alex Sunshine 83 for summer themes to create outfits for. And some of them are weird, some of them are fun, and some of them are a good time. So let's get dressed. The first theme is a fall inspired outfit, but for summer heat. I'm trying to think of just taking fall colors, but in summer like pieces, like shorts and a tank top. All of my fall and like winter pieces I've packed away in my closet, so I can't even get to those. I wonder if a sweater vest would be too much. Like it would be too much, you know? I know I don't think that would work. I'm contemplating either going with this brown dress and maybe layering like a white top under it or going with this skirt. It is plaid, I mean plaid for fall, absolutely. I think I'm leaning towards this because this is such a thin, thin material that I don't think it would be terrible during the heat. For the first theme, I'm gonna give myself a, a little clap up with this one because I, I think I nailed it. I know that the maxi skirt may not be favorable to most people during the summertime, but with it being, especially the color that it is, like these are fall colors that I just think it works perfectly. If you have a plaid skirt that's a midi, mini, maxi, knee length, anything like that, I think that is a perfect item that you can style all year round. I decided to put a headband on because headbands during fall just make sense in my opinion. I wanted to go for just some simple shoes. I, you know, during fall time, maybe like a brown boot would be great, but I went with the loafers to hopefully not add too much heat, but I think also pairing some sandals with this would work actually really well together. I got going on a hike, granola girl aesthetic as well a couple of times and here's the thing i think when you go hiking especially like in a proper forest you aren't supposed to wear shorts because of potentially like ticks i may be wrong i am not a hiker nor a proper granola girl but i am going to wear shorts just for the outfit so we're going to start with this i may go a little bit more simple with this outfit just because it's like if i'm going on a hike you know i don't want to like be wearing too much layering i literally wore this to work out the other day I feel like I either need a backpack or a fanny pack to finish it off. Yeah, I think I think this outfit's great. <laughs> and the only thing is the fanny pack crossbody I'm not loving. I'm just gonna wear my backpack. I think it does add a nice like additional color into the mix. I do really love granola. I have it every single day and I always have granola bars. So maybe I am inside of me granola girl. I really wanted to do European summer outfit or like being in Italy during the summer. I got that and I feel like everyone and their moms is in Europe during summertime. So I'm definitely feeling quite jealous. So I want to I want to put together an outfit. Although obviously in different places in Europe, they have different like dress codes and that kind of thing. I'm just like going to try to do the most like basic this is like that european core this piece is the outfit that we're building off of it is a see-through lace skirt that i recently thrifted and i feel like this would be really great obviously with summertime and the breeze hitting and especially in europe where i know a lot of places don't have ac or like don't love ice as much as it seems like carrie and i do i mean i put like ice all the way to the top. I want my ice with water. I have some little bike shorts under the skirt. I was thinking this top, but I don't know. I actually feel like it doesn't really go that well. I almost want to put a white top or even going for this top instead. Yeah, I think that's actually really cute. Whenever I put belts on like this, I feel like I look so stupid. On other people, it's so chic, but for me, it just, doesn't seem like it's supposed to be there. Is it adding anything? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's disregard that my feet would probably be aching so bad in these ballet flats if I was walking around Europe. But let, let's say I have a bag and I have my sneakers in there. I think this outfit would work perfectly there, personally. Although I'm sure if you're in Europe, maybe you're looking at this outfit and just shaking your head like, 
you dumb American. I get requests to do like work outfit videos all of the time, whether it's like corporate office outfits or office appropriate outfits. And the th guys, I do YouTube full time. I've never worked in an office. All my previous jobs were retail. And so we had a uniform that we had to wear. So I don't know why you're asking me for office appropriate outfits. I don't know what is office appropriate and not, but I'm gonna try my best because I got job interview, but it's hot outside. And my previous job, my interview was outside in the sun in the middle of July. So I have experienced this. For the job that I interviewed for, it, I mean, it was still retail, so, but like a higher version of retail, like the specific company. Uh, but I could wear jeans, it was like no problem. I am gonna go for trousers instead, and yes, black trousers. We're gonna sweat, we are gonna sweat, and at least this way. The interviewer cannot see that our butt is sweaty. I thought about going for my short suit like trousers, but I feel like that may be a little bit too casual. Oh, all I want to do is wear a blazer, but I definitely couldn't wear a blazer. Ah, I don't know. I, I really want to wear this green sweater vest, but I know that would be absolute death in the heat. I also really love this top with it as well. Like it's not just black on black, at least it's adding a color. Also green really makes my eyes pop. So the person will have to like focus on my eyes and what I am saying. Maybe I'm just hyping myself up way too much in this video, but I also am gonna give myself a big thumbs up for this outfit. I think I executed it with not just having one plain color, but having different elements in the outfit, but also staying simple. Now, I'm not sure when it comes to tattoos, if I would have to cover my tattoos. Let's just pretend this job interview is pro tattoo, so that is okay. I originally thought I would just wear it like this, but I was like, hmm, I just, maybe if it, I am feeling like even hotter than not adding the vest, but the vest isn't too bad in the weight that I think it just, is the cherry on top. It gives me corporate Alexa. Obviously, the movie of the summer is Barbie. So I got Barbie core, Barbie movie premiere, just Barbie. And I'm so nervous about this one because how is it that I don't own that much pink? I actually really like the color pink, but I don't own that much pink. So I feel like I'm not gonna do this well and it's gonna break my heart. I completely forgot that I actually own this pastel pink dress. This one screams pink, whereas this one, you know, yeah, it's more pastel. And, but this one's more cottage core. This one's more cutesy. It's a shame I do not own pink shoes. Like I, I need to change that. I can't tell if the hair bows are like a little bit too much. I was just trying to put a lot of pink together, but I think I'm more gonna dial it down. Can't decide between these. I think they go with the outfit more. But are these more Barbie? If it was pink, I think it would work way better. This kind of takes it into almost like I'm going to a Harry Styles concert. Whereas this is more like soft coquette Barbie. <laughs> With the metallic cowboy boots, it takes it from more of a safe, soft Barbie look to a more like look at me Barbie look. Again, the dress isn't as pink. I really feel like on camera it looks almost white, but I'm telling you it's a lot more pink in person. I think this is really cute. I mean, I've worn this outfit probably before. I feel like last year when I thrifted it, I styled it kind of in a similar way, but that's just because it works. And just with what I have in my closet, I think this is the best. I would wear this to go see the Barbie movie. If you are my sister, we are going to the Barbie movie. Um, yeah, I'm going to wear this. So just, just be prepared since it is getting very toasty in the room that I'm filming. We're going to do hottest day of the year. I think maybe we could whip this out because what is the best thing to wear when it's super hot? A bathing suit. This feels perfect. And yes, I am wearing proper sandals for all of you that keep telling me what I'm wearing on my feet is gonna be too hot. This is dedicated to you. This swimsuit is also amazing because the back is pretty much open and so oh as somebody that gets real bad back sweat i mean i get sweaty everywhere but the back as well um uh, i mean technically then everyone's just gonna see the sweat on my back 
But I mean, I'd rather take that and have potentially the breeze dry it out. So it's nice and open, any type of like armpit, chest, anywhere else I'm gonna get sweat, the swimsuit's gonna soak it up. And then I just have some loose shorts, a very simple outfit. Obviously it's, it's really hot. I could put a necklace on, but I can't be bothered. I'm too sweaty. <laughs> Even when I'm moving around and like the wind of my body, like hitting my back, I feel so good. This scenario is a mysterious it girl at the coffee shop. Since we're gonna be inside, I think a pair of jeans is fine because they probably have air conditioning and there's nothing that screams it girl, at least to me, than a good pair of denim. Like somebody that has some good jeans, it girl. These I recently thrifted. They are more like a wide leg. And I feel like lately, at least what society is saying is an it girl would wear a little bit more of a wide leg versus a straight leg. So I think I'm gonna go that route. Of course, being indecisive again, I cannot decide on the shoes. Doc Martens makes the most sense, but I also feel like some Converse as well because the docs almost make it seem like now I'm trying to be an it girl and the it girl is not trying to be an it girl. All right, all right, okay, here I am, an it girl. The Converse were the move. Now I know my jeans are probably gonna hit the ground and most people would be like, wear some chunkier shoes, but an it girl has no worries. They don't, they don't worry about the things I worry about because they're an it girl. I also have a necklace with an A on it for my name. So then also someone can be like, oh, what's that A for? Also very important, they have books in the tote bag. And one of the books is gonna be a very mysterious, like, or telling you something about their character. It's embarrassing to say, but I am not a reader. Uh, I mean, I read, I can, I can read, but I'm not a reader. And so you're gonna have to <laughs> let me know in the comments, what book do you think they would be reading? I did take a break to eat, which I then, yes, unbuttoned my pants. First day as an art student. And man, do I wish I could draw or do something artistic. I guess like video making is artistic, but I'm talking about like drawing, painting. I am so, unartist like i am so unskilled in the art and it makes me so sad whenever i see outfit videos or like when people are on the street and it's an art student and their outfit that they are wearing usually like it's not that it doesn't match but it's almost like at first glance you're like what are like what are they wearing and then they explain it and you're like oh my god that outfit is amazing this is either going to make or break the outfit Let's see. I actually kind of like it. I think it tones down the mix match patterns a little bit more. Also, if you're an artist, depending on what kind of art you do, you're probably maybe standing so you want to be comfortable. I got these comfy pants so you can like maneuver your body. I actually really like it. I would have never thought to put this outfit together, but I'm kind of digging it. It's just giving me a little clown corn. I will say I got a lot of going on a date outfit and just date night outfits but I like this one which was having a date with yourself and I think I'm gonna do more like a midday date with myself just because I don't really like going like outside during the night I think I'm gonna put together an outfit that I've been wanting to wear like just for myself it may not be that exciting possibly but it's something that I've been wanting to wear <laughs> actually just kidding because I was going to say it was this white dress and then I realized this white dress really reminds me especially with this which I wasn't going to put together as like the date with myself look but it really reminds me together of this photo of Lana Del Rey and one of the scenarios was Lana Del Rey inspired so we'll get to the date with myself outfit it actually kind of just makes me feel like I'm an angel in this with the full white, but we'll say it's Lana Del Rey inspired. <laughs> Definitely different than the last outfit, but I was trying to think about it like, okay, what have I really been wanting to wear and feels very me? And this dress that I had gotten on Depop that's originally from Unif is like one of my favorite dresses that I own, but I also didn't just want to wear it by itself. And so I really love the idea of a white baby tee under it. I just like the colors together and then i have two different kind of like chokers and then my red docks 
which I love these and I want to wear them every single day. So I 100% would wear this to take myself out on a date. It's like casual, but also exactly what I love and just feels like me. I forgot to intro this outfit, but it is class reunion, which I'm assuming is like high school reunion. And when do you do like high school reunions? Is it 10 years or is it like more? Or do they do it like every 10? Technically, I just had my 10 year reunion of high school. I don't know if I was supposed to get something in the mail. I, I don't think I would have gone anyway, personally. But if I did, I would wear this. I feel like it's dressy enough, but then not too dressy. And this is very different than anything I wore in high school, that's for sure. And then with the little like lace up heels, it's a nice little touch. It makes me feel like I know who I am. I like, I'm doing good versus how I was like in high school mentally, uh, not very kind to myself. And this dress just makes me feel cute and it makes me feel happy. And that's really all that matters. I would also have my son necklace which I just had on, why did I take it off? I don't know, but I would have my son necklace. So then it's like when I'm meeting up with people again for the first time in 10 years, I can be like, oh, my necklace, yeah, I made it. Yeah, oh, you have three kids, a college degree, and you own a home, well, I made a necklace. Alrighty, it's that time again where I'm starting to feel so delirious from how hot it is. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. This was honestly one of my favorite like outfit videos that I've done probably in the past year. I'm going to say I just had a great time. And so maybe I will do one next month just because I love these little prompts and it just creativity wise and pulling stuff out that I wouldn't have normally pulled out. As always, a majority of the pieces I showed in this video are thrifted. So if you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.